Hi everyone! So today I wanted to make a quick video about the artist Bansky who has been in New York for the past few days and he's been making quite some interesting appearances. These appearances range from the Sirens of the Lambs, a slaughterhouse delivery truck filled with stuffed animals uh, circling the meat district, a heart-shaped balloon covered in bandages on the Brooklyn Bridge, and the one that caused the most uproar in that case was a pop-up stall close to Central Park in New York City selling original artist pieces for $60 only. Now, th this is crazy to think about because his pieces usually sell for several thousand dollars or even millions of dollars. When asked why he did it, this is the quote that Bansky gave. I know street art can feel like the marketing wing of an art career, so I wanted to make some art without the price tag attached. I think this is a fantastic idea because no one knew about this. People who were walking the streets of New York City were thinking of passing by stalls where people spray your name in fancy ways and draw beautiful paintings and sell fake handbags. So most people walking by thought that someone was just selling Bansky knockoffs for 60 bucks. I mean, there's nowhere else you're gonna get a Bansky picture or like graffiti or anything for 60 bucks. And BBC has estimated these small canvases to be worth $31,000. So if you think about it, these people, by paying just 60 bucks for a picture like this, they made quite a plus if they ever feel like selling them. And that, to me, is just crazy because people will be walking by going like, oh, that looks like Bansky, but it's obviously fake, so I'm just going to walk back, like past it. I read some like blogs from people who were like, oh, yeah, I walked past it, saw Bansky, and I was like, this got to be fake, New York, blah, blah, blah. So they just kept walking. And then when they found out that they were actually originals after Bansky posted on his website that all of them were 100% authentic and signed by him, some people were just like, man, now the joke's on me. So who is Bansky anyway? Well, Bansky is an unknown man. There has been, in the past few years, there have been like many people going like, oh, Bansky's blah, 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 and blah, 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 like Robert Banks and Robin something, something. But no one really actually knows who he is. But what we do know is that he is a graffiti artist political activist, sculpturist, and a painter. He makes wonderful works and he always makes people notice him. Like he does things and then people hear about it in the news and stuff like that and they're like, wow, like that is so cool that he did that. So for the next few days in October, if you're in New York, I would watch out for other things that Bansky's doing because he's in October for a residency of one month doing something new in New York every day and if you see it that's like a once in a lifetime opportunity to see something that you would have never expected to be seeing on your trip to New York and I I just think it's amazing that he did this because how many artists would be willing to invest time in one of their own pieces, no matter how much time or how little time it is, how many would actually be willing to do this and then go up, up to a pop-up stand and just place their stuff there, set an elderly man there to sell these things. I mean, they didn't make a sale until 3.30 in the afternoon and then they made a total of 420 bucks, but you can't divide that by $60 because the first client got two for the price of one because she wasn't willing to pay 60 bucks. And I mean, anyone that does that now, in my opinion, is copying Bansky because I've never actually heard of anything like this done before. I might be wrong, um, but at least not something that has been covered in the news like this and it's just amazing that he's willing to do this and doing it because he could have made so much more money 
from it and he was willing to only make 60 bucks from it and I think that just is really awesome because now people those people who bought the paintings those few people that did um they're probably at home going like wow like I have an original Bansky piece and I only paid 60 bucks like I would be overwhelmed and grateful and joyful and I don't even know what so I think it is it was a really great idea and I think it's one of the most awesome things I have heard in a very long time. If you haven't really heard about it, just type in Mansky on Google and you will find thousands of news reports, vloggers, bloggers, random people just posting about it in awe and appreciation of such a great thing done.